Details tonight, Pawtucket police are investigating after vandalism is found at a synagogue. The president of the Orthodox congregation is calling it a hate crime. Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machado is here with the details. The synagogue's president says the swastika was spray painted sometime between 10 last night and 7 this morning. The hate crime, as he calls it, is a reminder of lingering bigotry. Checking David Pliskin minces no words when it comes to the swastika he found spray painted at Congregation Ojave Shalom Sunday morning. This is the kind of thing that makes your whole body royal inside if you're a Jew. Pliskin is the Orthodox Congregation's president. It's the only synagogue in Pawtucket where he says descendants of Holocaust survivors worship the swastika, a painful reminder of that genocide. This is like somebody trying to stab you in the heart again, so to speak. Pliskin calls the vandalism a hate crime. He doesn't believe it was just a childish prank. The person clearly had some knowledge because a lot of people make a swat sticker and they do it with a cross. If you notice, this person's done it the way it was actually done on the Nazi flag with an X. This is Hitler's swastika. That's correct. The vandalism was immediately condemned by the wider community Sunday. Catholic Bishop Thomas Tobin said in part, the vandalism that has occurred is demonic and depressing. Congressman David Cicilline said, I'm angry and disgusted. This despicable act of vandalism has only one purpose, to intimidate members of our community, and it won't succeed. This is one of several recent incidents that targeted the Jewish community in the area. Blocks away from the synagogue in October, these anti-Semitic flyers went around Providence's east side. It's a reminder, Pliskin says, that we've come a long way, but anti-Semitism isn't eradicated. While it may be small, it's still there. And Pawtucket police are investigating the vandalism, and the mayors of both Pawtucket and Providence are holding a news conference tomorrow morning to address anti-Semitism. We will be there, so stay with us for continuing coverage. Live in the newsroom, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.